everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, I hope to have this video out by Thanksgiving or probably around the time of Thanksgiving. What we're gonna do doing today is watching Monty Python in the Holy Grail. Now this movie here has been highly requested because a lot of people want me to watch a lot of old school movies and pretty much with Tropic Thunder, a lot of people's like, hey, since you like real outlandish comedies, why don't you watch Monty Python? I've never heard of this movie before in my life. I just, I really hope that y'all enjoy this video. You know, please share, like, you know, comment down below. Those are definitely important to help the channel grow and the video grow, you know, subscribe to. I want to thank everybody for your support. Pretty much I've reached 400 subscribers i'm about to reach 500 probably within the end of the week or maybe next week which is crazy because on my 100 subscriber video which was two weeks ago i talked about how it was really hard for me to get subscribers ever since i put up that video i've gained fucking 300 subscribers in two weeks like damn i wasn't even gaining that in a fucking month before that and now i'm over here about to get 500 my goal is to get a thousand on Christmas or before Christmas or before New Year's. And I also want to give a shout out to Daniel Bautista or about ba ba Bautista, however you pronounce that, you know, for uh, requesting for me to watch Monty Python. And I want to give another shout out to Cheeseburger 12. He is another person or she's another person who requested for me to watch this movie. I definitely love the support that y'all are giving me. And if for the future from now on if you want to give me a movie reaction request you got to follow me on instagram and dm me and i'll go ahead and fulfill your request i'm gonna stop rambling i don't want this intro to be too long you know please follow me on instagram and twitter the links are in the description if you want to be more interactive with me you have to follow me on instagram let's go ahead and get right into this movie reaction there we go. Movie about to start. Hey, oh, wait, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Fuck around with my headphones, bro. I only hear it in this ear, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, then that, that's nice right there. That's nice. I like that. All right. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> bruh, I was wondering what them damn subtitles was, bruh. I kept restarting this shit because I was like, bruh, what is with these subtitles, bro? <laughs> okay. We apologize for the fuck. <laughs> bro, I was about to say, I was getting pissed off. I was like, bruh, how do you get these subtitles off, bruh? <laughs> okay, so that was a joke. Oh my goodness. Hey, that, that's nice. That's nice, bro. Hey, bro, I guess that's the way you had to start a movie, bro. I was not paying attention to any of the damn texts or nothing, because I'm just like, bro, can we get this shit over with, bro? <laughs> Still making the sound effects for him. He not even going the same pace. Through the kingdom of Mercia, through... Where'd you get the coconut? We found them. <laughs> found them? In Mercia, the coconut's tropical. The swallow may fly south with the sun. Are you suggesting coconuts migrate? Not at all. <laughs> what? what? Why are they having a conversation about coconuts? Arthur from the court of Camelot is here. Listen, in order to maintain airspeed velocity... <laughs> between 43 times every second, right? Why is he still on that shit? <laughs> I'm not interested. It could be carried by an African swallow. <laughs> this thing come out of nowhere. But then, of course, uh, African swallows are non-migratory. Oh, yeah. But they couldn't be a coconut back anyway. <laughs> I think I, I saw this reference on, like, um, on Bleacher Report's Game of Zones, like, 
cartoon episode stuff, I think they did like a reference to this. I can already tell with this being an old style comedy movie and how the dialogue is already, I can already tell this is like a really smart ass comedy movie. Like you have to pay attention to what these people are saying. <laughs> The dudes can barely carry that thing as it is. Is he saying bring out your dead? Bring out nine pence. I'm not dead. What? Nothing. Here's your nine pence. I'm not dead. <laughs> Isn't there something you can do? I feel happy. I feel happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, I'm, I'm loving the dialogue between the characters already, bro. Hey, this music is making me want to play Mountain Blade, bro. I haven't played the second one yet. Well, I am king. Oh, king, eh? Very nice. Now, how'd you get that, eh? If there's ever going to be any progress... Any got... some lovely filth out How are you going to talk to a king like that? System, help, help, I'm being repressed, <laughs> bloody peasant. Oh, what a giveaway. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, eh? That's what I'm on about. Do you see him repressing me? You so... <laughs> <laughs> that dude said fuck it bro <laughs> oh my goodness bro that reminds me of how some people act now man like damn doing all that shit just to get attention and then as soon as somebody put your hands on them they're like oh my god no you see what he's doing <laughs> Can y'all even see in that? I used to work at Medieval Times as a knight, or I I didn't get to a knight, but that's what I was going to do if I would have stayed working there. Damn, that was a good ass throw. You fight with the strength of many men, Sir Knight. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Did he like self appoint himself king or something? You have proved yourself worthy. Will you join me? <laughs> Did he just shrug his shoulders? I have no quarrel with you, good Sir Knight, but I must cross this bridge. Then you shall die. <laughs> Hey, he got the moves on him. Bro, he's not even using both his arms. He's just using one arm, bro. Damn, he cut his arm off. It is but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that? <laughs> what? We thank thee, Lord, that in thy mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm kicking him like a little kid in the playground. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? I'm invincible! <laughs> come on, then! Bro, how's he alive? You yellow bastard! Come back here and take what's coming to you! I'll bite your legs off! I wonder how they actually did that. Did they get, like, a little person to do that, or, or what? Oh my gosh, bro. I'm like, I'm like in tears, bro. What makes you think she is a witch? Oh, she turned me into a newt. A newt. What is that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Why do witches burn? <laughs> what are they like in class or something? <laughs> Bill the science guy. How do we tell whether she is made of wood? Build a bridge out of her. Ah, but can you not also make bridges out of stone? <laughs> what? If she weighs the same as a duck, she's made of wood. And therefore, a witch! A witch! What? <laughs> what type of logical thinking is that? And then he got this weird mustache that's coming out of his helmet. She's obviously not the same weight as a duck. Bro, this dude still got the shaving cream on. Or is that a fake beard? Away! 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 
a fair crop. Wow, so they really weighed the same? What? Together they formed a band whose names and deeds were to be retold throughout the centuries. The night. What is that? Was that like a gorilla or something? What was it? This new learning amazes me, Sir Bedivere. Explain again how sheep's bladders may be employed to prevent earthquakes. <laughs> Why don't they just have horses? Let us ride to Hey, I love Camelot. the breaking of the fourth wall in this movie, bro. This is probably some of the most unique I've seen with breaking the fourth wall. Hanging just. <laughs> no, on second thoughts, let's not go to Camelot. It is a silly place. Right. right. Man, you did all this work just to say, you know what? Nah, fuck it. <laughs> oh, don't grovel. One thing I can't stand is people groveling. Sorry. And don't apologize. Every time I try to talk to someone, it's sorry this and forgive me that, and I'm not worthy. <laughs> Behold, Arthur, this is the Holy Grail. <laughs> Where's this cartoon come from? Ugh! <laughs> bro, as y'all can tell, I'm, I'm loving this already, bro. I didn't think that I was gonna like this movie because it's such a, a older movie, and I didn't think I was gonna get some of the jokes, but I, I would say this is probably one of the best comedies I've ever seen. He can join us in our quest for the Holy Grail. Uh, he's already got one, you see? What? I told him we already got one. <laughs> <laughs> Childish. Well, what are you doing in England? Mind your own business. Bro, what is up with his freaking gloves, yo? Bro, this dude childish, yo. I fart in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt. If <laughs> Talk to? No, now go away. What the fuck? What was that? What the fuck? But this dude is outrageous, bro. He's doing way too much. Oh, they did some Troy stuff. Uh, Lancelot, uh, Galahad, and I uh, wait until nightfall and then leap out of the rabbit. You're not even in it, bruh. <laughs> what is that? That was just a waste of time. Picture for schools, take eight. Action. What? Seems to have utterly disheartened King Arthur. The ferocity of the French taunting took him completely by surprise. <sighs> what? Now this is what they did. <laughs> Damn! Reason. Bro, what is going on with this movie, bro? This shit is just all over the place. His head smashed in and his heart cut out and his liver removed and his bowels unplugged and his nostrils raped and his bottom burnt off and his penis. That's, that's uh, a. <laughs> what? <laughs> Preserving freedom. Oh, Dennis, forget about freedom. Don't drop that mud. Damn. What is that, a giant in the motherfucker? You, you snore. snore. Oh, I, I don't. don't. Anyway, you've got bad breath. Well, it's only because you don't brush my teeth. Oh, stop, stop bitching and let's. Bro, everybody's like always bickering with each other. Oh my god, right. not, not biscuits, biscuits, but let's kill him anyway. anyway. Right. right. <laughs> we got the fuck out of there. <laughs> Danger is a ugly head. He bravely turned his tail. No. And <laughs> hey, bro, you gotta fire them dudes, bro. What? What the hell? <laughs> 
How they in the freaking Blitch where? I mean Blitch Blair Witch Forest. Damn. I said Blitch where? We want a shrubbery. A what? What the hell are they talking about? This girl talking to the cops. <laughs> that's, to me, that's probably like the funniest joke out of this whole movie. So far. One day, lad, all this will be yours. What, the curtains? No, not the curtains, lad. <laughs> Why he look like a zombie, bruh? He looks so pale. Like that makeup just makes him look horrifying, yo. And them guards are just idiots. <laughs> he just came out of nowhere, bro. The dude was in the same position like he was on a freaking treadmill. This dude's just killing everybody. What the fuck? What the fuck? I am ready! Um, I mean, to be so understanding. Um, right when I'm in this. <laughs> Me! No! Never! No shrub! Me! <laughs> is that really like torturing that old lady? At will to old ladies. There is a pestilence upon this land. Nothing is sacred. Even oh, so he is playing multiple characters. Okay. I was, that shit kind of threw me off at first when I was watching the movie. Oh, Knights of Nick, we have brought you your shrubbery. May we go now? It is a good shrubbery. I like the laurel. Man, this shit get the picket fence and everything. We are now the Knights who say, Eki, 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 for things. Zoom, boing, with them. <laughs> Jacking it in and packing it up and sneaking away and buggering off and chickening out and pissing. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's still singing a song about this dude. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> and and Bedivere and Sir Robin set out on their search to find the Enchanter. Hey, if they really had that monster in this movie, bro, that shit's gonna be crazy, bro. He about to get his ass tore up by the damn. Damn! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? We have the holy hand grenade. Yes, of course. The holy hand grenade of Antioch. It is one of the sacred relics Brother Maynard carries with him. Why do you have a hand grenade? Armaments chapter 2, verses 9 to 21. Damn, bro, you the freaking priest too? I wonder what people said when they, or what what people said and what people thought when they saw this dude in all these different roles. That shit like really had me like, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I know this dude, bro. Bro, they really got detectives in this mother. I don't even think they the one who killed him, bro. Like, who killed that old man? Yes, that's right. Oh, oh my God. Oh shit! So that monster is in this movie. Bro, how many times has this dude died in this movie or something like that? Bro, what is going on? Bro, this movie is all over the place. When suddenly, the animator suffered a fatal heart attack. The cartoon peril was no more. <laughs> what? And then we back to the detective. What is your favorite color? Blue. Right, off you go. That's it? Are you serious? There's probably gonna be different questions for all of them. What is your quest? To seek the Holy Grail. What is the capital of Assyria? Ha <laughs> got your ass. Damn, he switched it on his ass. He's like, you thought you had it, nigga. What is your favorite color? Blue. No. How don't you know your favorite color? Oh my gosh, bro. I'm just like still in tears. Intermission? What? Lancelot! Lancelot! Oh! <laughs> hey, that's a cool boat, man. But that just came out of nowhere. Man, there's so much stuff this movie just 
gives me vibes of like i said it gives me vibes of kingdom come deliverance give me vibes of mountain blade and it give me vibes of like this board game i don't know what type of board game it is but safe to us the most hope What the hell is- Oh my god! I'll wave my private parts at your aunties, you cheesy lot of second-hand electric donkey bottom biters! In your <laughs> this dude just love roasting these people, bro. If you do not open this door, we shall take this castle by force! In oh! Is that doodle? Uh. Oh! Oh! Put him in the van. Get a blanket over there. Come on, back. Right. <laughs> I don't think they killed him though. I think it was somebody else. What just happened, bro? If that's the end, of the, if that's how the movie is, I'm gonna be pissed. Bro, there better be a picture that comes back up on that damn screen, bro. Bro, this shit playing like I'm on a video game menu or some shit, bro. Hey, bro. Are they not showing the credits because they showed the credits at the beginning of the fucking movie? Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Oh hell no! You, what? No, no, that cannot be how that movie ends. What? That is. So you tell me they didn't even get the Holy Grail? What? Get the fuck out of here! Are you serious? <laughs> what? I guess I wasn't really paying that much attention to the beginning of the movie like I should have when they was playing the damn credits and the text and all that shit. Are you sick? That's how the fucking movie ends? They don't even get the holy grail? Oh, Bro, that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> hey, man, I really enjoyed this movie, man. It was fucking hilarious. It really was. I didn't think it was going to be funny to me at first because I was like, you know, it's an older movie. I'm probably not gonna get the jokes or anything like that, especially with my type of humor. My type of humor is a lot different than a lot of other people's, but this movie was fucking hilarious. I'm just mad about that. And that ending pissed me the fuck off, bro. Are you serious, bro? It's like these movies that y'all be having me watch, bro. The, the endings just be pissing me off because the movie would just like end. It would be like no resolution or nothing. What type of movie? What movie ends like that? What the fuck? Hey, man, the acting was really good. The dialogue was absolutely freaking fantastic. It was so damn brilliant and smart and clever. And I, I loved when everybody was, like, bickering towards each other because that shit was just hilarious. And even though they kept redoing that type of joke, it was just, it was still funny because of the dialogue that people were saying to each other. That was funny. The dude who was just killing almost everybody at the wedding, that shit was ridiculous. I was like... He really thought he was doing something, bruh. Hey, man, I had, like, a smile on my face, like, almost the whole damn movie reaction, bro. My cheeks are freaking hurting. My my head and my ears are hurting, bro. I know there's probably, like, a lot of references in future movies or present movies, I mean, all from this movie. And... <laughs> I can definitely see why people want me to watch this, bro. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. You know, please let me know uh, y'all thoughts on this movie and on this video. Um, definitely like, comment down below, share. Those definitely helps the channel grow and the video grow. You know, subscribe too. You know, we can definitely build a community here and it definitely... Um, and like, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links are in the description. If you want to be more interactive with me and do requests on what movie I want me to watch and stuff, definitely follow me on Instagram, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.